Welcome, Devaney. <laughs> Welcome to Arizona State University. Welcome, with Here we become. are. <laughs> Hey, to be welcomed by you is the greatest treat, uh, but we should be the ones welcoming you, of course. Well, what I love about what you've done in Love and Friendship, in addition to amplifying the Sir James Martin character, is showing power and women in power in this era. And I think Kate Beckinsale performance, but obviously your script and your yeah, novel. Yeah, yeah, I don't of, know. Yeah, tell me more, because I, I think... I don't know, I, I think this idea that women... Um, haven't been powerful and haven't been influential and now it's the first time a woman's doing something. I mean, um, because, uh, and I, I have some friends who, who had mothers um, and their mother's friends who, who married, you know, very um, important, powerful men. Mm -hmm. and, and they completely controlled the men. And they were <laughs> so good at manipulating and getting Well, Lady Susan's a good example of that And so history. Lady Susan is, is an early example of that, but it goes back in time, Cherchez la Femme, it's the woman behind the throne. And you see there's just so many places. Um, yeah. You're showing the sphere in which she's allowed to exercise that power. And it is not the same sphere, uh, I think. For but also in, 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 in literature and fiction, women were rather dominant um, in, in fiction, I believe. Yes. Um, yeah. Mrs. Radcliffe, Fanny Burney, Jane Austen. Yes, and there were the Charlotte most pro there were the most prolific novelists in the period, and I think the novel was a new genre, so it was open territory, mm -hmm. kind of like the Wild West of literature, mm -hmm. and it was populated at least half um, by women. Austin actually wrote during the decade when the numbers of female writers started to decline a bit in the novel form, which is mm -hmm. funny. She wasn't she was writing at a moment of she was uh, counter cyclical. Yeah, isn't that isn't that amazing? And her use of and that sense and sensibility by a lady that was actually going out of fashion by the time she used it. It was much more popular in the 1790s. And this is stuff that we can find out now with these large data uh, well, sets. Well, that's good that to know. I'm glad that she to. sort of had the, um, the old-fashioned attitude, the retro <laughs> attitude back then. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she was using it after its moment, uh, which yeah, I think she is never, also cool. She never put her name on a book. 